All right, this is Jerry's video, and we were talking about doing uh, 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 Proud Mary, which is in the key of D, and we're working on a strum that is basically a down-up strum. And this is a straight, not a dotted, which would go. is a straight. Proud Mary's a straight. And what they do and what a lot of solo performers do, they'll they'll mute and, and hit the strings like so I still got the chord on here although I did kind of take the pressure off. So I got the D chord down here yeah. and then I release pressure you can't even see. But if I play these strings you'll notice that mm -hmm. I release the pressure on them if I put it down. Release it, release it, easy for me to say. And it's like that. Alright, so it's we're gonna go. So it's one and two. And it's on the two down, which is the down strum, the two down, that we're gonna do this. So it's not a bad idea to just practice this. Yeah. Okay? I'm taking my pick, it's coming, it stops making a big noise like this. As soon as it hits, you know, I'm muting it with my right hand. All right? That's what we're looking for on two. And if we did it really slowly, one, two, one, and two, and. So you notice I'm still going down, down, up, down, up. But that's kind of a, it's a tricky strum. I just want to show it to you, to show you what um, some of these solo guitar players are doing to get that percussion. And that too imitates the snare drum. So it goes. All right. And, but we, we want to work on especially. We could also work on getting an accent on the end of two. So you're getting that up strum right after the mute. Right after the mute. And, and if we don't mute, we can still do one and two. But, um, okay, so there's that, and that's one of the things we were working on is that strum. The other thing we were working on is that kind of uh, Piedmont-style exercise, and it's going to be, again, with the index and middle is what you, uh, you like to use on that second and first string. So we're going to go, we're going to go, uh, the thumb's going to be on the sixth string, and the middle finger is going to be on the first string, and we're going to go, pinch those two, the sixth and the first. Right. And then we're going to hit the fourth string as a bass note. So it sounds like this, the first half of it. All right. The second half of it goes, um, we're going to take our finger right here, because we got this, I forgot to tell you, I'm sorry, that this is on an E chord, okay? Right. And we're going to go, this finger is going to come down on the third fret, first string, and it, look at that, I'm playing it way back there, aren't I? Because I can't reach way up here really, yeah. real easily. If I did this, I could reach easier. And we talked about, we talked about eliminating that, uh, this fifth string and just taking this, this finger and putting it on here, the second finger, you know, so that it you know, just kind of meets it. Because that's really all we need. So, and when we go, the second half of it. So if you can leave your finger in the E position, E chord, that's even better. And then we, we keep that this first string G going until we hit the pitch. Mm -hmm. So the first part. Easy enough. Second part. to the first part. 
second part. So each of those parts is simple. You put them together and they sound like this. took my little finger and put it down here in the second string, third fret, and every other time I'm doing the second string. So I go, I'm going, and then I'm going second time, Second string with my index oh, finger. Oh, I see. Okay. And that's why their little finger is going to the second. Yeah. So I don't care if you get that for next week. You're just I just expose. I just expose you to it, right? Yeah. I'm just okay. exposing you to it. But besides, I just would like you to get this. Yeah, little finger here is going to be on the second string, yeah. meaning that I've got to use my index finger on the second string on my right hand. Oh. Oh. So again, I'm switching strings yeah. on my right hand. Yeah. And, that, and, and that, you know, but we don't have to learn that for next week, but I'm, that's what we're going to work on next week once you get this. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Let's see if you can get that rolling. Yeah. 